Alright, let's talk signal tracing for a minute. So I'll show you how to signal trace. I got this guitar cord. It's a cheap Chinese guitar cord. I didn't mind cutting the head off. So I cut the head off and you'll see you have two wires. One is a ground wire, that's your bare wire, and one is your signal wire. So what do you do with those? I'll show you. Alright, for the bare wire we're going to get a uh, pair of gator clips. We're going to clamp down on the bare wire and we're going to connect the other end of the gator clips to the chassis at a ground point. Alright, then so that this isn't just flopping around in the wind, I want to secure it in some fashion. For me it's going to be this helping hand. Alright, the next is the signal wire and we want to get that signal wire attached to our probe. So let me talk about my probe for a minute. Alright, so my probe is basically, and you're gonna laugh at it, but it's all I had today, is a pencil with a wire on it, pretty much. There's this strange terminal thing, but all you would need is a pencil with a wire on it, and the wire exposed at the end. Just ensure that the wire is rigid, and that you have a small point exposed. Run the wire, to another alligator clip. You can get them at Walmart for a dollar, like a set of four. And then take that alligator clip and put it on your signal wire. All right, and so that's not flapping around. You're gonna wanna secure that one too, okay? And these helping hands are great because they've got rubber feet on the arms so that it doesn't ground out. All right, so now that we have the signal wire and the ground wire connected, ground wire to chassis, signal wire to our probe, we're going to start our broken amp up that isn't producing any sound. And we're going to start our little amp up too. Okay, when you start both amps up, uh, well, one's not going to be working, but the other one's going to be noisy, like this. So, in order to get rid of that noise, you've got to touch the probe to the chassis, and it cuts that out. It grounds, sends it to ground. Alright, so how do we signal trace? Well, I've got a guitar hooked up to my broken amplifier, and I've got to look at the schematic to see where the signal goes. So, the first place I'm going to just test my probe at is going to be the... Um, now you can do this with a signal generator or a guitar. So the first place I'm going to test is going to be right here. And you hear that the signal emerges from the small amplifier. That's not the big amplifier. Alright, so I know on this amp that my signal should go to the grid on pin 7. So it does. It goes to the grid on pin 7. It should come out of the plate on pin 6. And it does. Slightly, yes, it's the first gain stage, so it's slightly louder. And then you would just follow the uh, signal from there and the schematic until you find a point where you're not getting the signal. And that will help you troubleshoot. So I thought I'd just give this slight, tiny little tutorial on how you can make a very cheap signal probe for signal tracing. And I just want to end by saying, don't go poking around in your amp with a piece of wire like that. It's terribly dangerous unless you know exactly where the signal path is, unless you know exactly where to look for the signal. Otherwise, you could be electrocuted or damage your amplifier.